where you abide is where you rest. It is where you rest all of your longings, all of your creativity, is where you rest even all of your worries and your burdens. So when we talk about abiding, we talk about abiding in the beloved, the highest form of our ability to rest is recognizing that we abide in the person of rest. There is never any competition, never any condemnation, never any comparison in that kind of rest. So when we talk about where we are abiding, we are really talking about in whom are we abiding so that our rest and our work play is sustainable and substantial for this ancestral work that lies ahead of us, but that is also behind us because of those who went before us. Where are you abiding? More accurately, in whom are you abiding? Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Mohawk Mama Soul. This podcast is especially, essentially, for the writing soul. We don't focus on the writing craft. There are plenty of podcasts for that. But here, you are the focus. Your own personhood, not just what you produce. So let's go ahead and get started. Remember, rest is not a reward, which means we don't earn it. It is a Sabbath gift we inherited from the Lord of the Sabbath. For the Son of Man is the Lord of the Sabbath. And Sabbath is about our identity, not about what we try to accomplish. It's our birthright our inheritance. Remember that. This work is ancestral. Writing soul, speaking oracle. You, writer, you, speaker, communicator of all the things that have to do with connection between loving God and loving your neighbor as you love yourself. And so, what we do in these instances where we get to record our being and our actions is more than just output. It is about us deciding how we want to be remembered in history. It's about us choosing as ancestors and descendants to allow for whatever it is that we know is within us to be drawn out so that it can be left for the shalom-making work that will continue after we're gone. And so we want to be able to contemplate, align, rest, and include empathy in all of it as we notice, nurture, and embody shalom. In this new season, season eight of Mark Mama Soul, we're going to really approach things more poetically, and what I mean by that is that the movement of words through our bodies can be expressed in so many different ways, and I want us to capture the poetry, not just in words, but in movement. And if those movements then 
translate into words later, that's fine. But what I want us to do in this new season is unashamedly choose slow to nurture. Choose it. Choosing slow, not as a way to be lazy. No. Or procrastinate. No. Choosing slow to align with an accuracy of holistic growth that cannot be hurried. It doesn't mean that there's no other speed. It just simply means that when we choose slow, we're also choosing to savor. And we want to savor more. And I want us to really get into what savoring holistic growth in a very poetical way leads us to see the prosperity that we right now have. So this is just a bonus episode before I officially launch our eighth season of Mohawk Mama Song. And as I sat and I journaled and I listened and I sensed in all many ways that I could sense, words did come from my movement and I want to share them with you. And I want you to pay attention of the poetry that's all around you that you experience through your five senses. Whether you are seeing, hearing, smelling, touching, or tasting, those five senses bring poetry front and center. And I want us to savor it more intentionally. But I also want us to allow space for improvisation. And here's what came about for me as I allowed just that to happen in today's ancestral work. Just scribbling down my thoughts as I allow it to be experienced through my body. I entitle it Holistic Growth is Prosperity. My holistic growth allows me to Behold the prosperity of my naked body when I freely write while naked, while when I freely sleep while naked, when I freely wash my face during my morning and evening skincare ritual while naked, when I freely stretch my body upon awakening on my yoga mat or alongside my bed while naked when I freely dance in my bedroom or bathroom while naked, when I freely snack or read or listen to a podcast while naked, I sense and experience my prosperity unapologetically in this body, this naked body, this regenerative sanctum of sacred skin. When we can truly take deep breaths and exhale and inhale our lives and who we are and who we are becoming, there is a lot less striving because our prosperity reminds us that we already belong and that we are already in a place of great accompaniment by the divine and the cloud of witnesses who've gone before us and who are cheering us on to get it to a more shalom-making place as we live this life and then as we leave this life with our fingerprints of how we want to be remembered. Because we're not going to leave that into somebody else's hand. All right. Carry on until season eight officially begins. Shalom, writing soul and speaking soul.
Now as you bring closure to listening to today's episode, I want to ask you about your power, your path, and your possession as I include a a prompt that will help you contemplate your shalom making ancestral tracking. You know, as you move and walk through the world, you're leaving tracks. Your power, what do I mean? I mean your influence and everything you have to use for shalom making influence, the authority you walk in, in that influence. Notice it, nurture it, embody it. And then I mentioned your path. And by this I mean where you are. What path are you on? Where are you headed on that path? And then possession. What are all the gifts that you possess? The first gift is yourself. And so here's the prompt that will help us integrate power, path, and possession. And I want you to think about this, whether you choose to scribble it down on paper or digitally or in your heart. It's up to you. How do I want history to remember me? And how will I record what history remembers about me. All right? Think about that. Consider it as you go about your day. Be creative. Think inside or outside the box because that is up to you. How you come to the conclusion of constantly aligning with the truest part of yourself, your unique embodiment. Because this is a somatic and a scribbling experience. It's in the body. It's in the writing. It's a holistic integration. All right. That is your assignment. Answer that two-part question. Podcast with your friends. Jesus is always with your heart. He loves you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.